That's one of the best podcasts ever. Ever. Top five dead or alive. Welcome to Pod Caviar. I'm your host, Tony, in the uh, Ministry of Silly Talks with Graham, as usual. Hello. We are going to be continuing our uh, season three series on the prisoners of ADX. Yeah, and it's... I was just telling you a couple minutes ago, the more I go through this list of people, mm-hmm. the, 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 interest, the more interesting it gets. Yeah. Right. Um, today we have uh, Paul Berggren. I think that's how you say it. He was... Um, a former attorney, oh, not attorney. Well, he was a former attorney, but he's also a, an uh, army major, mm-hmm. and he had um, he had represented many clients, both veterans and and big name stars such as Little Kim and Queen Latifah, Naughty by Nature. Wow! Yeah, he was like the go to guy for all these people that were. Um, and that were caught up, and they needed somebody to to get them uncaught, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And oh, like so, he um, like you know probably did like a lot of like rappers with unregistered guns. Uh, yeah, yeah, like all that shit, incident, man. Incidents, that all kind of that, thing. all that. He was in. He was in deep. He also was a part of what was called uh, NY Confidential, mm-hmm. uh, prostitution ring out of New York. Um, the main girl that um, one day we're going to do and we're going to talk about this, but the top escort of that prostitution ring charged three thousand dollars an hour. What? Yeah. Three thousand dollars an hour. So basically he was like sort of an innovator in the world of like high quality I, man escorts. i don't see and i don't i didn't get the whole story behind that the ny mm-hmm. confidential thing but from what i understood um he came in after it was already up and running and he ran oh, it for a little while but then he okay. started allegedly he started stealing money for it and using that money that was made for himself ah yeah Somewhere along the line, he ended up pissing off either one very powerful person or a lot of people that got together and was Mm -hmm. like, this guy needs to get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. He's currently serving life in ADX uh, for, uh, let's see, conspiracy to murder a witness, bribery, fraud, racketeering, drug dealing, and prostitution. Jeez, and they gave him life, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a. Uh, that, I guess in. Um, I don't know whether he was charged in New York or New Jersey, but they charged him for murder. Uh, whatever he got found guilty for, the mandatory sentence was life. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, it must have been a federal case, obviously. Oh, too, of course, yeah. Mad Max. Shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is really the thing about this because uh, it was just sort of a brainchild early on for you was mm-hmm. like when we were talking i don't know if we we're talking about larry hoover or something but we started yeah, talking about yeah. that prison mm-hmm. and that was where what spawned your idea yeah. and yeah the more i look into every episode i get kind of excited ahead of time because i'm like yeah. what are we gonna find out today? Right. you know because <laughs> it really is a lot of these people are people who committed like either heinous crimes or mm-hmm. large-scale organized criminal activity yeah that uh, in some way if you're one of these people who's in this prison you Mm -hmm. did something that in some respect embarrassed the federal government 
Yeah, that's you know, true. Like it it kind of like embarrassed the government's ability to maintain law and order, protect yeah. itself. Yeah. So they take, you have to really be a special kind of asshole yeah. to end up in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. guy is a special type of asshole. You're talking about a lawyer that's that was his whole job was to uphold the law, mm-hmm. you know, in some respects or another, whether he was a prosecutor or a defense attorney. This guy was clearly a defense attorney. Yeah. But still, I mean, this guy, the, the witnesses were either, they either changed their stories or some of them ended up dead. Uh, and yeah. you know okay. this guy he 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 worked with these big name clients and he was telling them to to deal these drugs over here to make money for that you know blah 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 or well, this witness over here they might sink your case so probably should send somebody over there to do that oh you need me to run your prostitution ring okay cool i'll do that too and this guy i mean he was he was um he was uh, described as a slick back hair, mm-hmm. Bentley driving. This guy was full of himself. Yeah. And for all intents and purposes, for a run as long as he had, you got to, it's it's hard for you not to start drinking your own potion, so to speak, if yeah. you're in this guy's situation. And it caught up to him. And Yeah, this guy's story is tremendously. Some of the people he's defended, he, de- he defended... Um, uh, some of the members of the guard team at Abu Ghraib. Yeah. And yeah. then he defended one of the Iron Triangle murder right, guys. Right. I mean, that, that operation, story, the right Iron there. Triangle murders are even, could be a podcast in themselves yeah. at some point. Yeah. Which actually would be a pretty good series on podcasts, like about like American soldiers going cuckoo overseas. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, there's there were all those stories out of Afghanistan about groups of soldiers who spent, you know, a year at a forward firing base mm-hmm. and they came back with like people's fingers on necklaces and stuff. I mean, yeah. it's in a, it's, that yeah. happened in Vietnam a lot, but it was definitely some these kinds of things. And then like the Iron Triangle thing where they killed all those, uh, you know, unarmed uh, detainees. Right. Uh, it's it happens all the time because mm-hmm. war is a super fucked up thing. It is. But I didn't. Re- yeah. This. Yeah. Just pr- I'm just perusing. Yeah. The guy's and, and story. It, yeah, like you said, even if you just skim through it, you'll see like different things. And you're like, fuck, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. This guy, all that shit that he did and he did some good. Mm-hmm. And he did his job very well, but at the end, it all caught up to him because yeah. he 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 let the lines blur, so to speak, and you know, they caught up to him. So I don't know, man. It's it's uh, it's a crazy story. The NY Confidential is really crazy too. The three thousand dollar thing, and that led me to go down that little rabbit hole. But the whole thing about prostitution rings and prostitution in general is. Who's the victim? I ask who's the victim because the victim of prostitution is the United States government. Yeah, and really. Because they cannot tax that money. The guy who doesn't get laid, who never got laid, yeah. but he, he went to school, he got a nice job, he can make money. Yeah. He's not a victim for paying $3,000 an hour for some attention or sex or whatever the fuck they right, want. Right, because if he's got it and then the... If it's two consenting adults, you run into... Yeah. You, ca- you run into, obviously, the moral dilemma... Excuse me, like mm-hmm. seeing it from the outside, the moral yeah. dilemma of like human trafficking. Like, you know, you see these like prostitution yeah, yeah. rings in Vegas. Yeah. And, where and, they and like, that and then where people, they like people groom. fail to like separate those two things. Right. That they're know? both <laughs> not the exact. They're not yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Like a woman consenting to essentially be part of a business. Yeah. Where she has sex with people for money. Right. Like it's not, you know. As long as the two adults are consenting and they have this agreement. Yeah. And then how come if they did that, but then they videotaped it and put it on the Internet, that's legal. Right. 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 Like or if someone pays them to do it and videotape. Right. How's that? What's yeah. the. It's so many ways to circumvent that. But yeah. the 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 overall scheme of this thing is that if the government doesn't get their cut Mm -hmm. because the government is the ultimate pimp yeah (laughs) we always have to make sure we got the money for the government or they're going to come after us one way or another yeah exactly is that not prostitution in itself of course no the (laughs) the, well the the thing about prostitution that bothers us as westerners is because it involves sex you know what i mean yeah it doesn't have to always involve sex yeah but see so a lot of times it does that's the thing about prostitution specifically Mm -hmm. but if you remove that from if you look at that if you look at sex as like like a good or service, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a it's business. Yeah, you know is. what I mean. Like. And the government historically does not like when people conduct business that they don't get to take the some of the money from. Yeah, 
You yep. know what I mean? Yep. Like if they don't get there, I mean that's, dude, that's how they got Capone. Like mm, yeah, you know, that's yeah. how they, that's how they got him. That's em. how they get a lot of people. Yeah. Who are like, oh man, look, I'm doing, I'm conducting business and giving people a thing that they want yeah. for a price. Yeah. And the government's like, well, that's illegal because mm-hmm. we're not getting any of that money. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why they're not yeah. getting a cut. And uh, who was that? Was it um? Damn, Magic Juan, the Bishop oh, uh, Don Juan. Don yeah. Juan. Was he the one that was saying that you could do uh, pimping legally, but you have to still pay your taxes? And yeah. even if you put it on a form that you're pimping or whatever, then as long as you're paying, then they really don't care. Jesus. I think, I don't know May whether it was him, him, but one of those old school pimps did say that. Yeah. He and, said, although I mean, Don Juan said a lot of stuff for a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't necessarily did. know if I'm taking tax advice from <laughs> Don I, Magic I would not, Juan, but. You know, I mean, Chicago yeah. all the way, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'm taking tax <laughs> advice from that guy. Uh, but yeah. Pimps it, up, hose down. If you haven't seen that movie. Watch that movie. Yeah. No, it changed my life. Yeah. It changed, changed oh, yeah. a lot of people's lives. It's life. fucking crazy. It was, there was that weird obsession with pimps when we were like in our early 20s, too, though. There was mm-hmm. this like weird obsession like, yeah. where pimping, they all, every song was about pimping and yeah. everything was pimp, you know. Whereas, like, for most of the time before that, and even now we're kind of back to it, where if you're mm-hmm. a pimp, it kind of means you're a scumbag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, because what, a lot of them are. Yeah, because that's the yeah. I, see, and that's the dark side of prostitution too. I mean, not that yeah. prostitution isn't inherently kind of dark, but like, yeah. you have if you have a situation where you're just like, you know, like a pimp and he's running hoes, mm-hmm. like those women aren't, you know, yeah, eating and stuff. Yeah, no, you know and they I mean? can't just like, go up to the pimp. It's like here's my two week notice. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm yeah, like, it nah. doesn't work that way. No, nah, that's the nah. see, and that's the human trafficking angle. But if it was, exactly. but see, if it was legal and it was taxed, yeah. then there would be regular regulations right. forcing the people who are employing these women to yeah. you know what i mean essentially a pimp would just become an independent contractor <laughs> you know what i mean to be like an independent security contractor getting 10 yeah. percent. yeah know what i mean i mean that's basically it and that's you know? what, what it would be if it was regulated yeah so there and and there's yeah. that so if you really have a problem with it yeah you know. and i've read plenty of stories online where um guys would just buy an escort just because they can or yeah. they don't want to go through the courting phase. Yeah. Or they're a lot of these guys are just business guys who don't have time for this shit. Yeah, they you know? Don't. Yeah. So yeah. why not? If you're making all this money, if you're making six figure salary or even more than that, yeah. Okay. If she's there and like, hey, this is my rate for tonight, and you just you're out of town, maybe you just want to go out to eat, maybe you wanna fucking yeah. maybe you're one of those guys who have social anxiety where you just wanna have somebody there with you. Yeah. And it's not just guys that are losers no you just no, don't no. have time for this no. shit yeah you know? exactly yeah courting and dating yeah. takes out a lot of fucking time yeah see growing up for me you know growing up for me when i was single mm-hmm. really my only aversion to prostitution was that i'm cheap you know yeah. what i'm yeah. saying yeah. and also you know i'm very george costanza about it mm-hmm. you know it was like what did he say he said uh i parking finding parking is like paying for sex like why would I pay for something where if I apply myself, I yeah. can get it for free? That's true. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. Yeah. I it's, mean, shit. It's, you know, it's accurate. You yeah. know? And I mean, and then, you know, there's always these people, too, when it comes to prostitution, where you have some guy who's like, you're paying for it either way. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but also, yeah. though, I would rather, like, buy a dinner or go out for drinks or something yeah. and then have sex with someone that wants to. Instead of being like, here's a big wad of cash, pretend like you like me. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's always been, that's also another, Mm -hmm. that had always been another hurdle for me when it came to prostitution. I mean, yeah, but all that shit is understandable, yeah. And that's my personal thing. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that I think that that's how everyone should think. That's true. And if two consenting adults want to bang each other for money, well, that's none of my business. It is is nobody's business. You know, not even I mean? the United States government's business. Yeah, it's only you know? the government's business if it's a child yeah. or someone that's been kidnapped exactly. and forced into this. Exactly. And the way to avoid that is to legalize it and regulate it. That's true. It's just like drugs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's we're really getting to a point now as a society where the information is out there. The mm-hmm. fucking cat's out of the bag. Yeah. There are things that people do that are technically illegal mm-hmm. that if they were executed properly mm-hmm. and regulated and yeah. taxed, that yeah. would hurt way less people. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Dude, I always say that the money made from just legalizing weed alone could go to first responders, Mm -hmm. could go to teachers, can go to infrastructure. Those are the the top three things that always get brought up when politicians talk about their policies and and things that they want to do. And those are the three things that they spend the least money on. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, you don't have to raise taxes to to make money off marijuana just make it legal and then tax it yeah, you know and exactly. you'll make so much money off of it yeah and you don't have to raise see and that's my concern with something like that too though is they're gonna make all that money and then mm-hmm. my question is like are you gonna fix the fucking potholes right are you gonna right. just give the money to they're like we don't it's a state thing for money for teachers it's a state I'm like you're the fucking federal government you can yeah. just give them some yeah, money just give them some money subsidize you know. the future of this com- give country them money. where they get like a check from the state and they get a check from the yeah. federal government for being a teacher yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah and it's, you can even go as far as have them be like okay well this is the level right here this is what you'll get extra and then if you go up to this level mm-hmm. you get and a lot of teachers do that yeah but it's still not enough yeah you could be in yeah and you could should be like incentivized for like yeah. you know being an yeah. awesome teacher yeah you know and then you know, there'd be more awesome teachers instead of making money off privatized jails make yeah. money off legal weed and then give it to the teachers and the first responders right and shit and like that building you know? bridges and shit yeah and, and uh, fixing dude, they the said that, what dilapidated they said? They said horrifying bridges we have yeah, in this country i just right saw now. something this year that said it would take uh, like an unbelievable amount of time to fix all of the bridges because a bridge just collapsed out of nowhere mm-hmm. the other day and i'm one like collapsed and to bring it full circle back to the most recent episode of the one Graham army podcast mm-hmm. last year a bridge collapsed in florida during rush hour traffic i think it was in gainesville yeah like yeah. a highway overpass right because they're in horrible disrepair yeah why yeah. are how what why are we still using them right who's telling anybody about this right and are those you, things you're not labeling these bridges either they put out every year every now and then throughout the year they'll put up like a list and they'll be mm-hmm. like here's some bridge as a matter of fact the br- there's a bridge right around the corner here like the way i go to work if i take 247 like mm-hmm. that bridge over there mm-hmm. is in horror it's on a list of bridges that's like you know not mm-hmm. gonna be there much longer yeah, and that's terrible yeah you know it's horrifying <laughs> And so, yeah, th- that because that's the biggest problem with taxes, and I'll jump off this horse here, but, mm-hmm. like, it's like, I don't have a problem paying taxes, and I right. like that this is an incredibly wealthy country. Yeah. Why does the money have to be so poorly appropriated? That's the problem. And then when you want to spend money on something else, you're like, mm-hmm. well, we'd have to raise taxes. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Stop with the fucking why do we have a hundred bases in the world yeah well, stop that yeah like save that money right you know what i mean like the operating cost like nobody in okinawa wants that air force base to be there either of the bases that are there they mm-hmm. don't want them there mm-hmm. we're not sitting on japan anymore right you know what i mean yeah, yeah. we have guam like strategically yeah what are yeah. we doing there and it's not like if we leave japan they're gonna start planning like pearl harbor too you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, like the, it's the, a different world yeah the uh, so the uh, thing about the operating cost of that base mm-hmm. who knows it's a, right. um, it's probably a billion, oh, yeah. it's it's probably a, a billion yeah, dollars it's a, a lot year. of fucking money you yeah. know what i mean yeah so you take that money mm-hmm. and now you dump it into fixing bridges mm-hmm. and there you go and all that shit one problem funnels solved, down and you don't to, have to raise taxes yeah no and all that shit funnels down to politicians and what mm-hmm. the, what are they going to do to essentially assure that they get reelected because you do not want to be the politician that is uh, part of a a uh, an area that has a base in it that gets closed down because yeah. when that happens your ass is gone yeah see and i especially don't, if it's a place like here yeah oh, where yeah. it's yeah. entirely dependent on the local economy oh, yeah. well see and that's the thing too though is oh, i don't like that's cool like have a bunch of stateside bases mm-hmm. you know what i mean if you want yeah. to like cuz they stimulate the economies of the places they're in if you do mm-hmm. it responsibly you know there's obviously some places where there's army posts where the yeah. entire surrounding city is just strippers and prostitutes but like yeah. you know you could build communities around these bases you can i don't have a problem with that state side that's like that's kind of the money kind of playing back off of it mm-hmm. but like man we have a lot of bases in the world that are just like pits for our that's tax true. money that's true and then they turn around to us and we're like you should pay teachers a fair wage and they're like mm. well where are we gonna get that money from yeah we're stop spending it like assholes yeah, yeah. stop doing that yeah 
Yeah, it's yeah, I don't know. It's insanity. Yeah. yeah. So you legalize weed. I don't legalize weed. You can make a lot of money off yeah. of it. And then legalize prostitution. And I mean, yeah. you, if you legalize weed and prostitution, then, then yeah. everybody's set. Yeah, uh, you, you can know? just give everybody more in their tax returns, even. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You can give every American $5,000 a yes. year. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we would have a, a fucking, it wouldn't be a deficit at all. It would be a damn profit every year. Yep. And that's They'd just, and that, that's the American dream, is it not? Yeah. I mean, it's not the white picket fence and the house and the two-car garage and, like, your family with your dog and everything, and you're yeah. fucking throwing the fucking tennis ball at it. No, it's fucking... It, it, it's 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 doing the right thing yeah. for the people that do the hardest work. Yeah, so exactly. you have to start from the bottom and look at all the people that that are struggling. Dude, I had a that are responsible for like essentially raising our children. Yeah, I had a teacher in high school. He was a young guy. I guess he just graduated. And he was really, that might have been his first teaching gig, but he was like, look, I live with roommates and we don't even have a TV. Yeah. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. So you're telling me that he doesn't deserve more money to get a fucking TV? Of course he does. And I mean, come on, man. Like, this is ridiculous. And I'll be honest with you, like, spending the day with other people's kids every day, like, they deserve to have the summers off, too. I'm not a hater. No. Like, pay those fucking people. Pay them. Pay them. And stop creating this, like, secondary world with, like, private schools and shit. Like, what, like, children yeah. don't deserve an education because their parents yeah. aren't rich? Yeah. Like, that's so crazy. Yeah. I think I went to private school for a short time in my life, and it was weird. No, it's very strange. It I never went to private school, weird, but I knew kids dude. who went to private school, and they're all, they're all fucking weirdos. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm a weirdo. Yeah. Let's not get, let's, I don't want to, yeah. let's not yeah, get crazy. It was crazy strange, here. dude. It was so yeah. strange. It was like being in a military when you're a kid it, it was just it was just a weird I, I don't know i couldn't fuck with it yeah no absolutely but this guy um mark bergen it's just it's what a paul d- bergen paul oh paul Ber- how did i see paul mark? bergen oh, that says yeah. march which was one of the months where he was in <laughs> trial uh but yeah. yeah so this guy though uh, yeah his story is insane it man. is it is. It's really nuts, and it looks like they tried him several times on these charges. Yeah, too. he went through trial once, and they had a hung jury on most of the the charges. He had like twenty charges, and they had a hung jury, and then they convicted him on some things. So in tw- in two thousand nine, I believe he was in federal custody from then until now, and he said that he planned on doing a uh, an appeal for what he got convicted of, but I don't know where that's at. He's still in ADX Colorado, so apparently it didn't come through yet, or it failed. So. Yeah, well, it does say here that in 2013, when he was sentenced, uh, his convictions were upheld by a three-judge federal appeals panel the following December. Shit. So, unless the Supreme Court hears his case. Yeah, he's fucked. He's done for. Yeah. And And I don't think the Supreme Court. Pretty sure the Supreme Court is not going to take that case. Take on cocaine murder prostitute guy and set a precedent where, like, oh, that's cool. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Man, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. You know, uh, you, you leave it up to the government and it's like, uh, you know, it, it, these the same people that think that that the government is going to send somebody to kill Nipsey Hussle. Oh, rest in peace. Fuck. Because yeah. he was going to make a documentary about Dr. What? C. Sabi. And that guy's crazy. Yeah. And it's like, isn't that the same guy that said that Michael Jackson was killed by a laser beam from outer space? I, I don't know, but that sounds like some shit. He was. That's the guy that's who said guy. that that he cured people with AIDS. Oh, uh, yeah, he had to yeah. cure for AIDS. And I was talking the other day, and I was like, listen, if the government wanted to steal that technology, they would have just done it and yeah. been like, hey, look what we came up with. We're the government. Like right. they're not gonna. You, you gotta. I don't. I don't understand, man. This is the government that we're talking about here. It's like they do a yeah. lot of good things. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, these people are not. Then uh, they're not responsible for nine eleven. It wasn't an inside job. They didn't kill uh, Left Eye. They, they didn't kill. Yeah, they didn't uh, kill I mean, Nipsey Hussle. Christ. They didn't yeah, kill Nipsey Hussle. It's hard on. It's hard, especially when I'm on Twitter, because I just want to be like, yeah. dear, dear Black Twitter. You know, sometimes people die. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes people die. Yeah. It happens. And then do you know that, he, and it's not just government going after black people, because when Bush was president, um, what is the dude that did Fahrenheit 9-11? Yeah, uh, Michael Moore. Michael yeah. Moore. 
he did a whole very very that was one of the last bootleg dvds i bought yeah and i the government didn't kill him as far as i know he's still alive right yeah. so yeah. if you got a white american going after a white president and the government didn't kill him but they they're gonna go kill uh, the black people like yeah. no well see and that was the thing too was with the like l- that loose change thing remember yeah. that was like sort of the loose change.com was yeah. like the first that place that was the first where place yeah people were starting talking about 9-11 being yeah. an inside job yeah. right yeah and I, I maddox which is was an old site the best website in the universe or mm-hmm. whatever it's been a long time since I, I think he's updated any of that but he had a whole article where he was like yeah that makes sense because the federal government is so massive and well is such a well-oiled machine and mm-hmm. so capable that they could conduct the operation of mm-hmm. 9/11 in yeah. the way he described it right. and how it was an inside job mm-hmm. and the building was demolished from mm-hmm. the inside um they were able to do all that but they couldn't shut this guy's website down. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they did like, all what? that like, and then and about? they did all that and then had no plan on the back end, like in right. case it was uncovered. Yeah. Like, hey, how do we do damage control here? Yeah, I would think it'd be like if you typed the number nine in your computer, your computer was hard drive would just be erased. Yeah, so they'd be like, Wah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not at work, DOS, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and and on the other side, I know that the government has done a lot of fucked up shit in the past. They did the Tuskegee experiments. Yes, yes, yes. And and that's true. They yeah. did Iran that. Contra. Yeah, Iran they Contra. They planned on I mean, blowing up that ship in the Gulf of Cuba to try and start a war with Cuba. Right. They have done things. They have like done that. things. Yes. And they probably continue to conspire to do things like that and try to do things like yeah. that. But I'm just saying that some guy on Twitter is not the guy that's figured it out. No. No, definitely uh, not. Definitely not. And they did not send fucking a, a damn the dude to kill Nipsey Hussle. That dude was a hater and yeah. a snitch. Yeah. Nipsey called him out on it and him being a bitch came back with a gun because of the strict gun laws in California. Mm-hmm. Nobody else had a gun. And Nipsey was only at his own store because he wanted to get some clothes for his homeboy that just got out of prison. Right. And that's the only reason. Yes. And it and, and Nipsey Hussle passing is very sad. It is. Um, and, you know, what was funny, too, was that, like, when all this happened, the first thing people on Twitter started doing was obviously trying to get attention for themselves. Mm-hmm. And then other people would be like, did you ever even listen to his music? Yeah. And then yeah, there was, yeah, like, this yeah. whole other yeah. ilk of people who were like, no, I didn't. And I didn't know about. But so what difference does that make? I'm right. He asked us to ride for him. I'm riding for him now. And I'm like, mm. no, no, using this man's death to get attention. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. then also you're out here trying the, to convince the, the people. Pinnacle that the pinnacle of the people trying this. to get attention was a girl on twitter who said that five shots to the body and one to the head was a military tactic and i was like i saw that fuck no the fuck is not i Listen, saw that i spent 12 years in the air force yeah, and she was like never a time where they were like, like shoot him five times in the body and one in the head she was like 20 no. yeah. yeah and and she was just like that's a military move but i'll move on and i'm like yeah. I I actually saw that tweet and responded, yeah. <laughs> "Thank you for your service." It's <laughs> like, never yeah. a point in time. All that where time you spent in the Salvation they Army, fucking yeah. Uh, where we, we and we had to qualify on M sixteen. We went to the shooting yeah. rings. There was never a point in time when they was like five shots to the body and one to the head. Yeah, well, That's and I know we win wars. In I know a lot. I know. You know how much bullets we'll waste on? It's a couple guys I grew up with who went down the other fork in the road and became special operators. I have yeah. one really good friend in particular who is a special operator. Mm-hmm. I don't have to ask him because I guarantee he's like, oh, yeah, no, that's the number. It's like because, you know, it's really important that each person you shoot, you shoot them six times. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And that distribution of bullets mm-hmm. is very important. too. Yeah. 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 Ah, so anyway, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. but I don't remember about Doctor Sebi. Jackson, but this is a one. this is an unfortunate video. Actually, this is what made me think about this: is mm-hmm. that this video is Dick Gregory, who was like a great dancer and mm-hmm. he, like he was a comedian and an actor. And now mm-hmm. I guess he's become some kind of activist. Yeah, but he is batshit and crazy. Yeah, here, hold on. It it seems like the, the he needed that that fix. That money it was never enough. Wasn't money. Wasn't about money. He didn't have no childhood. See, y'all always be trying to talk about shit you don't know. He didn't have a fucking childhood. Huh? All right? He had all the money he wanted. 
all the fame he wanted, huh? But he never bounced the ball, huh? So y'all gonna sit there and talk about somebody you ain't never talked to him, huh? Michael Jackson, huh? A child. This all sounds very reasonable. It's mine. But keep going. Mm -hmm. It's a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Came one of the most powerful human beings in the world, and they killed him. Mm -hmm. And when they killed him, the simple mathematics, he's getting ready to do the big show in London. Right, because obviously Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> obviously, if you want to kill Michael Jackson before he does something big, yeah. you do it at the end of his at the end of his massive career. career yeah, yeah, that he of had. Of course, yeah, okay. fifty times. God can't work one city fifty times, but made you think he could. And that childness in him, he never dawned on him. So he's insured. This is your show. This makes sense too, right? This so insurance the insurance is on you, mm -hmm. not the rest of the people. So he had insured for $1.5 billion. Okay, we're getting oh, close to right. it. Here we go. Uh -huh. and so when they killed him. About to lose me. You mean the Lords of London didn't see them holes in his arm? Hmm? Lords of London? $1.5 billion and they didn't see these holes? Hmm? You know what? Okay. Michael was killed at 2 o'clock in the morning from a laser. Hmm? What's the, 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 the police chief? He's not police chief of New York. That Bratton? Whatever. I was thinking Gates, but that's, no, that's no, before. No. And then four days later, they go into the house and find this bloody shirt of Michael's. Uh, he was killed by a laser. A laser? Yep. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Not fentanyl. No. No. Which is super deadly. Yeah. And he was being administered it. And the person who administered it to him recklessly is yeah. in jail. Yeah. Because, because he's he responsible did. for Michael Jackson's death. Yeah, not a laser. Not a laser. Not a laser. Not the government. Not the government. And the insurance thing makes sense, too. I'm not going to look it up, but uh, maybe he was insured for that amount. And there was some sort of fighting. Well, then that's not a fucking conspiracy. No, it's that's not. humanity. That's humanity. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, but also, like... The idea that he was going to do all of this stuff and then you kill him before he does it, before you can get the money, yeah. seems quite silly. Right. And then he was silenced f because he was going to do a concert? A concert? He was going to do he a did concert. Plenty of concerts. Yeah, probably done more concerts than most artists ever. Right. right? Like yeah. he's Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah. They, it's just weird how when shit like this happens, killed, people they, thought that so the government killed Prince. Yeah, and it's weird and that like, people always go to the government. It's like you guys put too much faith in this government. Like this government it, can't even stay open yeah. most of the time. Like there's yeah. been times where the government has legitimately been like, oh well, y'all yeah. go home. National okay. parks are closed. Uh, bye. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 there are people with the Prince thing where they were like, oh, the government did it. And you try and tell them like, the government is super inefficient. And they're like, yeah, well, that's why we know about it. And I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> the what? fuck? But I feel like huh? if that was true, then maybe you would be like, you know, doing something about it. You know, like yeah. it would be coming up. Maybe it would be like on the news. Yeah. You know, that maybe. Like the government's yeah. out here, you know, yeah. executing. Yeah. No, musicians? the only thing we have is a bunch of people on YouTube Why that will take a number musicians? and like do this shit on that whiteboard. And then, you know, they'd be like, well, this number right here. Oh, well, this dates back to this right here. Mm -hmm. and then this equals this number. Well, if you take that number right there, you add it to this number. What does it equal? This right here. That is Quantico. What's Quantico? That's where the CIA is. The government was involved. Yeah. And, and it's like, why what? Is, wait a minute. What? So the government did Hold all on. that too. Like they picked these dates and times as like a yeah, like road what, map. Even breadcrumbs? Like bread like, what exactly. the fuck? Like it doesn't make any sense, like we're man. It we're doesn't make sense. We're conducting these clandestine uh, operations. Yeah. And we're, we're fucking killing yeah. musicians and yeah. shit. Like yeah. we're doing all the globally. Like we're sending what? people to Honduras to run left eye off the road. Yeah. But we're going to make sure that there's a trail of breadcrumbs back to our involvement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blah. I remember Left Eye had a a documentary, God Rest Her Soul. It was on mm -hmm. MTV back in the day. And before she died, there was she had hit like a woman in mm -hmm. Honduras, and it was a, an accident. But she was like, "Look, 
I feel, and I and I and I believe in listening to the universe and you get these feelings where mm-hmm. you know some shit's about to go down. Yeah. And it's like she was like, look, I feel it like I know it was an accident, but at the same time, you know, something, you know, like I always say the pendulum swings both ways. Yeah. And then the next shot was her in the in the in the Jeep and right before the accident and that's yep. what happened. I mean, yeah. And he, <laughs> and that's the thing too though. She may have also like been cuz if you've seen the documentary, she was clearly kind of losing her mind there yeah, towards the yeah. end anyway. And then operating a motor vehicle is probably not super safe. Right. I mean, I'm not saying. And they were clearly the, hauling ass, too. Yeah, exactly. So. And I don't have all the details of the case, but probably not the government. And the, yeah. So the thing that we're getting at here is, is that don't always automatically just go to the government. You can't have the government be this all. The boogeyman. Uh, yeah, this all CNI boogeyman. Yeah. And then. They they're not gonna go after countries that are that are our enemies, right? Like legitimately our enemies and want to invade us and destroy this whole life that we have in America. But they're gonna go after these entertainers, like, yeah, a guy with like a really popular rap album, yeah, mm. yeah. Especially when they're when they're persons of color, yeah. like that's it, you know. Right, it's well, weird. Well, see, and it's like easy for the the small step where it's like, oh, here's like someone who is of a class of people mm-hmm. that was pr- persecuted, mm-hmm. um, and then this person was like trying to help other people who looked like him, and then he's killed. Mm-hmm. Okay, Nipsey Hussle's not Martin Luther King. Right. This isn't nineteen. This isn't the nineteen sixties. Right. Like the government doesn't give a shit about Nipsey Hussle. Especially since he was like doing good things. Yeah. Yeah. And you know he was doing I mean? a lot of positive things yeah, like, for his community locally yeah. and even even outside of locally because he was dropping a lot of knowledge and he did a lot of things. And he had a lot of innovations as far as what he did for his business, um, even down to to his tags like you can mm-hmm. download it, the app and then you scan a tag on, on one of his shirts or one of his clothes and then it had like a um it would load a song and he was trying to um link that to well this artist right here has a song that's coming out you can get yeah. it early if you buy this shirt and scan the tag yeah his the t- government isn't going to go after people like that no he's if they're going to do that why did they go after him and not elon musk yeah who's well because going, you know elon musk is white man that's yeah that's that's, that's, all that's all it comes down yeah. to you exactly know? and this and also the too to all those people on Twitter that are like the government killed Nipsey Hussle. You hadn't fucking heard of Nipsey Hussle <laughs> right. before he died. Why do you think the go- right. do you, but you think the government right. was on him? Yeah, like you think that that admit this administration Dude. is Dude, real yeah. all over yeah. Nipsey Hussle. It, yeah. His death is tragic because he was that innovative because he was right. going towards those right. things. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you're exactly. using you're using that young man's death as an opportunity to. Uh, you know, get mm-hmm. attention on the internet. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're and then, and then even if the government did the government. do it, what are you gonna do on Twitter? You think your tweets are gonna hurt the government? Yeah, like, dude, are you they serious? do. They're bringing it down like, from the end. Have you ever seen the, the fucking fuck? comments under a Donald Trump tweet? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird, right? <laughs> thousands of people around like, the, the world fuck? trying to argue with this dude dude's, on Twitter. Hey, right? Like. Where are we it's at now? Crazy. What do yeah. you think? Oh yeah, you're really weighing in on that one. Uh, yeah, you really got him. That's yeah. what you did. It's 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 weird, man. Listen, nobody in the government when the news broke that Nipsey got shot, nobody in the government sat back and fucking did yeah. this with their hands yeah, like we got their hands like we did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. High fives in the situation. All right. Room. Yeah, they yeah. were just as shocked as everybody else, and yeah. it was a great loss, and it's terrible that somebody got killed that way, and all the positive that he yeah. gave to the world us as fans or whether you just learned about him or whether you're inspired by them now our ultimate goal is to continue that legacy right not, not to blame to, the government. not to blame the government no yeah. we keep doing the same things that he was doing yep. i'm doing it with short caviar and you can do it too yep. and it's just that simple exactly <sighs> it's a fucking mess. Yeah, it is. Well, mess. you're at 36 minutes, and I feel like we stopped talking about this NY Confidential thing a while. Yeah, ago. NY. Wanna, yeah, that means his story. It it, it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a few guys on this list that have really good stories. They're just not long. So, yeah, we, we're gonna have these these people that we talk about, like Paul Bergren, and then who did we talk about last time? Uh, we talked about Robert Hansen last time. And we talked about the Olympic bomber before that. Look, this series, the the season is 
just getting started and we're doing good things we're talking about people it's just going to get better but yeah uh, i may not be able to podcast next week it's probably going to be the case but so the week after that yeah i think uh, i'd like to uh do larry hoover okay yeah and yeah let's do that time to put all that oh, yeah. together yeah um but yeah paul bergeron serving life in adx former army major former uh defense lawyer uh let's see he's uh he had big name clients Lil kim queen latifah naughty by nature um he he represented veterans from abu Ghraib and the iron triangle those stories we will dive into uh later in later episodes if you're not familiar with him already he has been charged and uh, uh convicted of conspiracy to murder a witness bribery fraud racketeering drug dealing prostitution he has <laughs> would you say he did his um a, a trial of judges had denied his appeal yeah, so yeah, yeah he's in a, there yeah, he had a federal appeal yeah and it was, yeah uh, he he also uh well. he also ran ny confidential a prostitution ring out of new york um and we talked about all that shit uh, it's a great episode. You yeah, know. No, I think it's it a great episode well. as usual. And um, um, I want to take the time to say that anybody that has listened to the One Grand Army since episode one, anybody that listened to Pod Caviar since episode one, you understand that Graham and I, although we've known each other for years, this podcasting is a new uh, an adventure for us. Yeah, absolutely. Endeavor, and we have done a lot of improvements both with the way that we deliver the podcast mm-hmm. and the improvements to the studio. Absolutely. And um. Uh, everything that we've done has moved us to where we're at now yep. and it's just going to get better There's and um, I appreciate the lights coming. and the, the oh, TV yeah. and shit, Fuck the soundboard, yeah. man. I mean, it's awesome and it goes to show that um, a lot of the things that I say as far as surrounding yourself with people that push you forward and have your best interests in hand mm-hmm. is very important if you want to succeed in life. Yeah. I know a lot of people that don't like to rely on other people, and that's cool. I always say that you bet on yourself you, so you don't have to rely on other people. At the same time, it's always good to have people that have your best interests in hand on your exactly. team. Exactly. You have so, to have a network of yeah. some sort. And, and this is the proof of it right now. So... Uh, it, it it's 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 a great feeling nowhere to in go here. but up yeah it, it's just it's great making art and coming mm-hmm. in here and 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 just doing this and reaching out to people and having people say that the podcast is good the shirts are good for shirt caviar and it's just going to get better from here on out so yeah i just wanted to say that and um thank you for listening to pod caviar check out the one gram army these two podcasts we go together mm-hmm. and it's it's it, it's crazy how we feed off of one another and a lot of times what we talk about in the one gram army is it will bleed over to pod caviar and yep. it's full circle it goes, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. yeah and um you know just stay with us man you know we got some big things coming out we still i'm still talking about the documentary hey it's just started getting warm outside finally and we, yes. yeah, we got some things that we're gonna start doing we got caviar city still coming oh yeah uh go to uh reddit.com um, yeah, and search for Caviar City, and that's really the hub for everything: shirt caviar, game yep. caviar, pod caviar, one gram army, yep. and then anything else that we like to post on there. And, and it's really just where you need to go to get everything associated with this yeah, caviar family. Exactly is what I like to no, call it. But I yeah. agree, absolutely. But yeah, um, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, do you think you want to? Do you have enough for another episode of One, uh, Gram, one Army? Gram Army? I don't know. For next we, week? We may have to discuss that here shortly. Okay, yeah, we could do that. All right, yeah. yeah, we'll figure that out. All right, but yeah, um, make sure you subscribe to Pod Caviar and One Gram Army. Check out Shirt Caviar. It is like a women's boutique surrounded by an art museum, and it's fucking it's a good better description. every day. Yeah, yeah it is. Yes, <laughs> All it right, is. Uh, we're out of here, and hit stop. Hit stop.